This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 208. I don't care what I look like, I care what I feel like by Yogi Aaron of yogiaron.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. Hello, Life Optimizers. Welcome back to a Wellness Wednesday edition of Optimal Living Daily. I'm Justin Mollick, your very own personal narrator. This is where I read some of the best authors I can find on personal development, minimalism, productivity, and health and fitness, which is today's topic. And I have a brand new author to join the show, Yogi Aaron. Aaron leads many international yoga retreats and journeys all around the world and also helps other yoga teachers grow their businesses. He's been teaching yoga since the 90s and co-owns Blue Osa Yoga Retreat and Spa in Costa Rica. So he's definitely an expert in his field. You can check him out at yogiaron.com and Aaron is spelled A-A-R-O-N. And I think that's enough of an intro. So let's jump right in and start optimizing your life. I don't care what I look like. I care what I feel like by Yogi Aaron of yogiaron.com. What would the older me like to say to my younger me? I am 44, I just turned 44. My older self would tell my younger self, chill out, don't worry about how much you weigh, don't worry about what you look like, take care of yourself. My older self would tell my younger self, eat well and eat clean food, exercise every day, and remember to enjoy life. I used to be obsessed with putting on weight in my 20s. I used to weigh a consistent 165 pounds. I used to check the scale all the time. Have I put on any weight yet? Did I gain another pound? And for the past three or four years, I've been checking the scale to see if I've lost any weight and feeling perpetually frustrated. I've been feeling perpetually annihilated. And then something happened. I took a turn for the worse. I gained 25 pounds in what seemed to take place overnight. When I finally got over the shock of what happened, I started to seek help. I knew instinctively something was wrong with me. First, I went to a naturopath, which told me my cortisol levels were low, then sold me a lot of naturopathic medicines. Nothing changed. Then I went to the health food store and bought a lot of quote-unquote fat burners. Nothing changed. Then I went to my doctor. After some discussion, he said that while my cortisol levels could be off, he was gonna bet everything I had developed candida albicans. Candida is a type of yeast that lives in your gut. Apparently, a little is useful, but a lot will mess with your metabolism and digestion. Normally, people don't have to deal with it. Candida will grow exponentially when you've been on antibiotics. Antibiotics will destroy all the healthy bacteria in your gut. When this happens, it takes over, and then the candida is really difficult to get rid of. With my doctor's advice, I started a particular medication to destroy the candida coupled with bacteria. I also started to include more foods in my diet, such as sauerkraut and yogurt, to help increase my healthy bacteria. I also systematically started to cut out all sugars. Finally, after a couple of months, I started to see a drastic change and improvement, but I knew I needed to take more steps. My metabolism had started to turn off. During the day, I was feeling more and more sluggish, and my yoga practice was feeling dull. I no longer cared about how I looked or what number was on the scale. What I cared about was feeling good again. I wanted to feel like Aaron again. Since then, I've taken a lot of steps to get my health and energy back. And as a byproduct, my body is becoming a lean working machine again. For the first time in so many years, I feel physically strong and powerful. One of the steps I've taken is to work with a health coach. Every week she holds me accountable. She keeps me focused. Every week I speak to her, she reminds me why I am following a program. Each week my health coach reminds me all the time, quote, Aaron, we are in this for the long haul. We are not looking for short-term results. I want you to have a strong image of who you wanna be in your mind when you're 50 years old. Have the image at the forefront of your mind as you work out. Hold that image firm as you're drinking your water and eating food that supports this vision of yourself, unquote. I live in this body, and if I wear it out, where would I live? Every day this affirmation, which is my prayer, is said as a reminder. This prayer supports me to remember what is important. What is important is to do things every day which supports my body, which in turn supports my mind, which then supports my path to attain the goal of this life. Quote, I am younger today than I was yesterday. I am healed and in a perfect state of health. This body is the vehicle for my soul. I nurture and care for my body which radiates perfect health. 
Each day, my body is nurtured, exercised, and cared for, and my mind is eager to make decisions that support my optimal health. There is no fear in my life, my mind, and this body. There are only limitless possibilities, unquote. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I look like. At the end of the day, what matters is how I feel. At the end of the day, what matters is how vibrant and alive I feel in this body. Life is too short to be stuck in a limiting body because I chose laziness over self-care and action. I chose life. And more, I chose to do and be as much in my life as I possibly can. You just listened to the post titled, I Don't Care What I Look Like, I Care What I Feel Like by Yogi Aaron of yogiaron.com. Definitely check him out online. He even does one-on-one consultations. Again, he's an expert in his field, so if you wanna learn anything in all things yoga, visit him at yogiaron.com. Before we go, just a reminder that this podcast is ad-free, which means most days I make nothing from this project. Somehow I've been able to do this podcast for over 200 days straight, but I couldn't do it without amazing listeners like you who contribute. So if you wanna help out, you can come by oldpodcast.com to become a patron of the show. You'll hear from me personally, and it would be a huge help. And I think that does it for today. I will catch you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.